Meta recently unveiled a new AI model called Animal, which can grasp and create various forms of content like text, speech, images, and videos. This is a big step forward in multimodal learning, a field focused on developing models capable of processing different types of inputs and generating meaningful outputs. In this video, I'll explain how this new AI model functions, its performance in different tasks, and its potential applications across various sectors. And also, I'll touch on its limitations, challenges, and the ethical considerations surrounding its use. So, Animal is an AI model adept at understanding and generating various modalities by converting these different types of inputs into text, which it can then process. It's built on the belief that text is a universal language, and large language models can efficiently learn from loads of data. At its core, the model has three parts a pre-trained aligner module, a multimodal instruction set, and an LLM backbone. The aligner module changes modality-specific signals to text. For instance, it can change an image to a text description or a speech signal to text. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. This module learns from huge multimodal datasets using self-supervised learning methods. The multimodal instruction set has predefined commands directing any mal on the task at hand, like converting text to speech or generating a text description from an image. This set can be customized, allowing various tasks such as image captioning, text-to-speech synthesis, and more. The LLM backbone is the essence of any mal, handling the reasoning and text response generation, and it is based on Elama 2. It takes the textual inputs from the aligner, follows the commands from the instruction set, and creates the needed textual outputs. It stands out from other multimodal models due to its unique design and abilities. Take ChatGPT for instance, it's a multimodal model like Animal, but it's designed to provide text and image responses in conversations. Yet it has a drawback. It operates on a separate encoder-decoder setup for each type of response making it less effective when juggling multiple response types at once. On the other hand, there's Llama 2, another multimodal player capable of delivering text and image responses for a variety of tasks. But it's tied down to a predetermined set of instructions, which means it's not flexible for user customization or adaptable to fresh challenges. Then comes GPT-4, with a knack for generating text from all kinds of inputs, even multimodal ones but it lacks a specific aligner module and a clear instruction set, making it a bit of a hard nut to crack in terms of understanding and control compared to any mal. Now, the model has been put to the test across a range of tasks like image captioning, text-to-speech synthesis, video summarization, and conversational question answering, alongside other models like ChatGPT, Llama2, and GPT-4. Its performance was gauged through both human and automated assessments. In image captioning, it turned an image into a text description. For text to speech, it converted text to matching speech. In video summarization, it created a text summary from a video. And in conversational question answering, it generated text responses based on a mix of text and image inputs. Across these tasks, Animal shined, showing superior performance on various metrics compared to the other models. For instance, in image captioning, it outscored the others on benchmarks like Blue 4, Meteor, Rouge, and Cider. Similar trends were observed in text-to-speech synthesis, where it scored higher on MOS and STOI metrics. It also received positive feedback from human evaluators on different aspects of its outputs, such as coherence, diversity, informativeness, relevance, and naturalness. Evaluators rated these traits on a 1 to 5 scale, with 5 being awesome and 1 not so great. On average, any male scored pretty well, coherence, 4.3, diversity, 4.1, informativeness, 4.2, relevance, 4.4, and naturalness, 4.3. When compared to other AI like ChatGPT, Llama2, and GPT-4, any male had better scores. For instance, ChatGPT's scores were a bit lower, with 3.9, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, .8, and 3.8 in the same categories while Llama2 and GPT-4 trailed behind with their own set of scores. Nonetheless, Animal has room for improvement, particularly hinging on the quality of training data. 
There are challenges ahead, but the promising results set a solid foundation for further research and enhancement. Enimal is a versatile model with applications across various sectors like education, entertainment, healthcare, e-commerce, and social media, offering benefits like boosting creativity, productivity, and engagement. However, there are risks. The model can generate misinformation, harming reputations, or spreading false narratives. It can also plagiarize or infringe on intellectual property rights by replicating content without proper attribution. Therefore, responsible and ethical use of any mal is crucial. Establishing and adhering to standards and regulations for multimodal models like any mal will ensure its potential is harnessed for good. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more AI-related content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.